So we got our character ready for review. If you in the last video and know why it was renamed the composition, we kind of have them group in this because it's the composition. Just rename them so that it's easier for me to understand what we're doing this. Now for parenting, we got to know what's in charge of what. We don't want to get confused. Now the head might be the brain of it all, but in terms of parenting, we actually want to make sure that the parts kind of match. So we could do two things. We could either make the pivot points first for each part and then parent them, or we can parent them and then make the pivot points. What I'll do is just make the parenting first and then we work on the other part, pivot points. So let's start with each of the composition. So like a bicep and an arm and a hand, bicep for the arm and the hand. Um, we know that the bicep, one is closer to the shoulder, would be in charge because you can move your bicep and the arm move and the hand can go back to its right. So it's going to look something like this. You pull from the bicep, you put it into the top of your forearm. Same thing for the forearm into the hand. And as I said before um, in my previous video, you normally use, I usually show with the peg, but this time I'm just going to do the straight drawing. That way you can use the inverse kinematic and it will have a simpler working style. So this one's a leg. So we have foot, then shin, then thigh. I need to put the scissor on because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the contact here. So kind of like this, something like that. over here and it's down here and it shows it's over is on top and it's on below um, depends on how you're gonna do it but I'm gonna work with this like so and I could use it for the the end of the pants to flatten these out so it looks like the hem of the pants yeah so this thigh here thing is this so we'll do the same stuff again for the hand forearm and bicep so bicep forearm all the way on the ground with the hand like so so you can see a top down like a little curve kind of like an actual buttock so we'll do the same thing over here So we're pretty much done with our parenting. Only thing left is neck and the head. And the neck is actually in charge of the head because when you move your neck, your head moves. Right? So it's not like a hypothetical thing like, oh, my neck would break off here or something like that. That's not gonna happen. We're not gonna do that. Also notice that this neck is kind of visible here, so it's kind of weird because you can't see it so well with the other one like that. So just quick fix. Head fix over neck fix over like so. So from there we actually need to do a even higher hierarchy. So head and neck. We put them like so. So now the neck moves and then the head will move along with it. So I'm going to have to set the pivot so you understand what's going on next. But normally the pivots are set with the advanced animation tool. And every time you would draw, they're normally set in the center of your workspace. I'm going to have to adjust that. So let's do the last bit. Think of what's going to be in charge of the neck? Your torso. So we got a nice little torso with TG somewhere over here. And your torso is going to be in appearance of a good amount of it. So this is in charge of the torso. The neck, I should say. Like I can say. Bicep 
Deci așa se scrie poze. Eu pe mult pot să mă bate cum îmi place. Mai am ce să zic, dar ce? Right? And finally, we have a few more requests. So we know that some people prefer us to have uh, legs and that would be a good thing. So the style would be a child of the foot and the other style would be a child of the hip. And then from there we need to know which one of these is actually the child of the other, child of these two. It's actually the hip because if you stick your hip, your foot is gonna follow the hip. So that would be the actual extension. So if we're pretty much from top top down, you'd say you could say hip, then torso, and then your appendages. Or note that the legs are attached to the hip and the arms and the neck are attached to the torso. So now we start setting our pivot points. And that's what we do for every single one of these guys. So let's start with the head. We even have a pivot tool we can actually set and use a pivot tool and we can just name it set pick one and you can use a pivot tool and pretty much just pick where you want the pivot to be let's pick on a couple of these we don't want to make we want don't want it to snap the contour because we want to set the leg and you can also use the advanced animation tools which pretty much show the same stuff so right now my head would be set like that right so on to the next one I'm more comfortable using the advanced animation tools, so I'll just use those. So let's go, we can use J or H. So for this arm, I'm going to show just the bicep. I'm going to set this over here. Over here, we're going to set this down like that. And then this one's small, so it's going to probably be like this. that those are kind of accurate so make sure that you set that up um, like that yeah so it's gonna be hard to see now so what I'm gonna have to do is disable a part which is the torso so from the network view or the node view I'm gonna look for the torso and just hit D which is to actually disable or even come inside and to enable or disable, just hit D, and it's just going to become untouchable. Right, that's it. We have this one. Let's go to the top of this. Let's just set that up. So for the disabled one, um, let's go to the set view. That works. Any 
Ich sage mal, wir wollen jetzt lieber mal den Undoing. So. Das ist das. Das war für mich wahr. Ähm. Wo ist denn jetzt das Video? Done with the parenting and the wedding and all that stuff. So, the view may not be all that accurate, but I believe we finished parenting everything. So, we're gonna always check that out. Okay, hit on the first of these are the last ones. So, I don't know what to do with this. So, purple. It's visible over the other two. And there we have it. A complete rig. And we could just lower the outline again. It probably makes a different print. Okay. So that's our complete. Inverse kinematics has to make it easy to see what your network looks like. Well, not your network rather, just your parenting. So if I hit this little tight looking thing here, it says inverse kinematics. And pretty much inverse kinematics works like this. It's more of a bottom to top approach rather than the top down in terms of parenting. So here's what it looks like. We hit that. We the trees apart and it kind of shows you what everything looks like i think there's one thing that's still out of place like possibly the neck seems out of place so let's make sure that's corrected so we're going to change our pivot point for that just to bring it here and our inverse kinematic should look like so so this is our entire rig looks like a human like a skeleton probably should be cut If you hold on out, you get to manipulate each part separately. And using shift kind of locks it into a particular spot. So you don't want to use shift very much on this thing, sorry. So that but we just hold on out and you can see how this part might look a little weird so we might have to change how our kit looks we can change the drawing of it just so it fits more us so i could just easily make it move that off we have a much better looking kit area so we could still try to lock it by using the line tool
what the fuck? Move them how we want. And it works. The move. So that's a simple little rig. It's not perfect, but hey, it does work. So you can learn to make your own. That's part of the tutorial. So thanks for watching. Um, to get into animating it, which is actually just putting some keyframes and extending the timeline. Look how desired. We have something that looks more like this. We have one people. because we have the move and the zoom so that will take what's called a peg which is a view to move the entire body now to add a peg to the hip that button there so you just press ctrl c it's not gonna spread itself or anything and so from here so from this hip peg you can set keyframes and a peg is pretty much an object that allows you to just set keyframes and it's not flat it's more like a manipulation for the peg. So maybe I could use this to show what's going on from the floor. And I could use this peg here to get the entire thing and then set this as the move. And so let's say that this looks like a perfectly so. Let's say I want to turn it into a body. And all I do is do body dash as well. This is kind of weird because it's kind of sliding down into the ground so we could actually set keyframes for the same part like right here we don't want it to be sliding in the air so even there same way so thanks for watching take care and god bless